Welcome. Happy Sunday from sunny San Antonio, Texas. When you come on, say hello. Just gonna wait a minute, get this wheel open, get a prize ready. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Bev. Welcome. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Sunday wherever you are. Hi, Veronica. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for spending your Sunday afternoon with me. Hey, Stella. Thank you guys for sharing as well. Welcome, welcome. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you are watching me um, and you see a live, one of these corners to the left or right of my head, that means you're watching me live on Facebook. Otherwise, if you don't see that, you're probably watching me on a replay or you're watching me on my YouTube channel. And I just wanna thank you if you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. My name is Barbara Ragsdale and I am a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I live in the northeast part of San Antonio, Texas. And if you're not familiar with Stampin' Up!, we're a paper crafting company, so we cater to all levels of crafters, no matter what level you are. And if you've just never heard of Stampin' Up!, we are, I'm here every Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time in order to show you how to use our paper crafting products. Um, I'm also live Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time in order to show you how to use the products to make your scrapbook page layouts as well. Hi, Terry. Um, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Got some several announcements to go through, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, if during the demonstration you see something that you like, holler at me. There's ways to get it, whether it's to uh, purchase it directly off my online store, or you can also be a demonstrator as well. You don't have to do lives. You don't have to do parties. You can be your own party and do your own shopping and, and still be able to get the discount and be able to use the products. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started with, let me flip that around, move this. I want to show you guys the April host code and the QR code. So if you see anything that you would like to purchase during today's demonstration, um, feel free to visit my website and you can shop directly. Let me get that glare off. You can shop directly on my website and when you use this host code right here, you're going to get a free kit in order to make the April monthly online ordering special that uses the welcoming window welcoming window bundle and um, this is continuing in the next annual catalog by the way but your kit will already come pre-cut for you die cut and you're gonna get enough pieces in order to make all four of these cards which mother's day is next month you guys so i hope you all have some cards for your moms your grandmas your tias your neighbor your neighbor ladies um and then this card right here has the mother's day message actually on the inside so this one is a uh, simple stamping this one right here is nothing but inks stamps and paper and there's a couple of layers but that's that's that one and then this one has this one here and the simple stamping one I demonstrated last weekend. So if you wanna see how I put together all these really cute, do y'all hear that? <laughs> That's my cat in the window. And there's been some birds on the fence and that's him making his like cat noises because he wants, <laughs> y'all hear that? <laughs> but anyway, on this card, uh, we put some we put some uh, curtains on it. <coughs> Excuse me, I felt that coming on. And then your message is on the inside where you can stamp your Mother's Day message on the inside. But 
that's the free kit and I cannot believe it this cat is literally on the table with me you guys <clears throat> Bino are you trying to make an appearance Bino in my Facebook live do y'all want to see the cat Bino <laughs> Here comes a cat, you guys. That would be Beano. <laughs> Come on, Bean. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know why the cat felt like he had to make an appearance today, so that's my son's cat, you guys. <coughs> Hold on, I think I have something in my throat. He could have walked around, but yet he decided to walk across. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> All right, you guys, let's get back on track. <clears throat> now that I've gotten the cat off the table and cleared my throat. But um, one other thing I want to announce is that when you join my email list, you will get a free PDF tutorial. And you'll also get a free annual catalog, one of the new catalogs. And this is the new one that goes into effect May the 4th. And I can't show you the inside, and yours won't come bound like this, but um, it is the new catalog. There's lots and lots of goodies in here. I'm going to show you some of them today. But you will get a complimentary catalog from me. And if you're an active demonstrator, I have a different special gift for you. For joining my email list and then uh, we are in the subscription period for the uh, next month's paper pumpkin kit and this one began April 11th through May 10th and paper pumpkin is Stampin Up's monthly paper crafting subscription service so if you would like an economical way in order to get all of your products coordinated every single month the themes change and the kits actually have everything you need I actually have the one that we just I just got mine um, yesterday and this is how the kits come by the way if you've never seen a paper pumpkin kit they come already in this cute box shrink wrapped let me get all this out of the way here and your paper pumpkin kits get delivered straight to your door um, you can purchase a one-time or you can do a month-to-month -month subscription, but when you open it, you're always going to have an exclusive ink spot. So this is a really, really great way to build your ink collection. And then you can use our ink spots and you can also get our re-inkers and have a very affordable way in order to build your collection of inks and let me just show you the size difference between the ink spot and our regular ink pad so there's a significant difference but these are very um easy when it comes to transporting if you're going somewhere you need something to work on but they always have an exclusive stamp set this one happens to be um ice cream themed and it coordinates with the retiring ice cream corner designer series paper but as you can see it's like Christmas every single month and I'm not going to open this kit but I'm just going to show you that the paper pumpkin kits literally come with everything that you need in order to put those particular projects together and they'll show you a color picture uh, when you open this the instructions are on the inside and this particular month had enough supplies that contains uh, enough supplies to make 12 cards and 12 envelopes. And you can see, really fun, really fun spring um, projects. And not every month is it cards. Sometimes there are other little projects. But this will come delivered straight to your mailbox. I'm not going to say your, your door unless that's where your mail actually gets delivered. But these are the paper pumpkin kits. Let's put that aside. And you have until May the 10th to sign up for the batter up one. And this one has, let's see, let me flip this over and read the back. It contains enough supplies to create nine cards and coordinating envelopes. And it also comes with some bubble gum. 
bubble gum. So if you have a lot of kiddos or grandkids that are in sports, you know, specifically Little League, um, this may be the perfect time for you to join a paper pumpkin. And my paper pumpkin subscribers actually get coordinating cuts of cardstock in order to uh, make additional projects with their kits or whatever else they would like to work on. And then we still have our last chance products that are on sale through May the 3rd or while supplies last. So if you haven't gone out and checked out the things that are retiring, go check them out. I'll put this link in the description after the video. You can also scan the QR code with a second device if you need to while you're watching. And then I also have um, a couple of days from now is the deadline to register for my product shares. And I'm doing a paper share, ribbon share, and I'm gonna go ahead and do an embellishment share as well. And once again, I'll put the link. The shares is basically a small group of ladies or gentlemen that want to uh, split full packages of product. So um, all of the details, this is on my Stampin' Up! website, and I'll put the link in the description so that you can go read about what every particular share includes. And then the last thing I want to, um, to let you in on is beginning May 4th through May 31st, we have a join special with our kit. Um, you guys, normally our kits are $125 worth of product for only $99 plus tax. But in beginning with May, all the way through the end of May of this year, so all next month, beginning May 4th, you're going to get $155 in product for only $99. That's an extra $30, you guys. Oh my goodness. That is worth it. So if you happen to have a wish list that's, you know, pretty, you know, maybe right around $100, maybe a little less than $100, or maybe even more than that, um, this would be the time. There's no obligation with our kits. There really is no obligation, you guys. Um, these are perfect for those that just want to get a discount on their crafting supplies. And so there's three ways that you can be a part of my Be So Creative team. Um, you can go directly to the website, um, my Stampin' Up! website, and you can click join. There's also links on my blog as well. Um, or you can scan that QR code, and I'll also put the link in the description when I'm done with the video. So, um, but this is only from May 4th to May 31st. So if you are looking for a really great deal this is an awesome time in order to be able to purchase your kit with absolutely no obligation whatsoever you don't have to do videos you don't have to do any of that you can just sit back and enjoy your discounts and discounts on top of discounts and just all of the things that come along with it so let's give away a prize um i gave away all the the mother's day prizes uh, last week. It was one winner that won them all, but um, how you can get on the wheel is when you like, comment, and share my videos, and when you share, you get entered twice. And so these are all the names from last week's video, and I just went in my, um, my little stash and pulled out a package of this braided linen trim that's in Mossy Meadow. So let's give that away and see who the winner is this week let me get a pen so i can write this down jackie rosemond congratulations jackie i haven't been looking at the comments um so i'm not sure if jackie's watching right now um let me see if I can go back and look and see. But congratulations, Jackie. Yeah, there you are. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Pat. Veronica, I had to get off, go subscribe, but you're back. Oh, thank you, Veronica. Yeah, you saw, you saw Bino. <laughs> yeah, hi, Gina. 
So yay, congratulations, Jackie. I have your address because you've won before, so I know exactly where this needs to go. So let me put that off to the side and let me show you guys. Um, we'll go ahead and start with, with the two cards. I'm gonna do two cards for you today. And I don't know why it seems to be like a, let me bring this down a little more. It seems to be like a shadow right here. Let's see if I can bring some more light in. I don't know if that did anything, but I'm going to go for it. Okay. Well, this is the first card that we're going to make today. And let me tell you, if this designer series paper, which um, I may call it DSP, but if you're new to Stampin' Up!, we call our designer series papers uh, DSP for short. But if you haven't recognized this designer series paper, this DSP, let me tell you guys. Beginning May 4th, when the new catalog comes out, there is a new pack of paper that is, I've got it right here. I'm trying not to spill my drink. It is called uh, Pattern Party Designer Series Paper. Now, you probably can't read that. But it is a 12 by 12 pack of paper. There's 48 sheets in this pack. It's a pretty thick pack of paper, and it is only available to hosts. And the value of this is $30, but for hosts and only hosts, the cost is $18. You can get this when you have a qualifying little social get-together uh, which can be in person or it can be over Zoom. So if you're interested next month in having a few, there, I only have this one sheet left because I used this particular design in a swap, in a leaders group swap. But I tried to fan these out so you can see all of these really, really cute spring colors. Uh, we are talking about, let me see if I can get my little sheet here on the back to tell you. Uh, we're looking at Crushed Curry, Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green, Misty Moonlight, uh, one of the new in colors, yeah, it's Laundry Day, Pale Papaya, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, and Whisper White. And you get four sheets of every single one of these designs. So, um, lots of bright colors. There's even some new colors that are in there. And then let me flip these around. Let me flip these around so you can see the back. Y'all are going to be really surprised that you see such a colorful front here on this side. And then when you go to flip it around, you have all of this black and white. And there's the, there's the back side of that one. So remember our True Love Designer Series paper and how you could color the flowers that were on there. This reminds me of that. But you also have um, this black and white, like buffalo check. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but we have, we have lots of check, buffalo check, in our, our new product line coming out. But that's the back side of this paper that we're working with. And I decided to take three of the papers and make this particular card today. So we're gonna be making this card. So let me get the supplies. Some things have already been done, but I saved a few other things to show you in case you've not seen any of the stamping um, or die cutting before. So we have our, we have our basic white base and I'm just gonna fold this in half, go ahead and get this out of the way. And if you're wondering um, what stamp I'm working with and what dies I'm working with, for this one, not only am I using that host designer series paper, but I'm using the new color and contour bundle that comes with this photopolymer stamp set and all of these dies. There's a couple of other dies that I'm gonna be using to do these flowers, to die cut out the flowers. But it's the scalloped contours dies and the color and contour photopolymer step, stamp set. And that's what I'm gonna be using today on all of these projects. So when you see 
this paper, um, I've die cut out this piece of Misty Moonlight. So let's get these pieces down. And I'm gonna bring this up a little bit so that you can see that, but look at the scalloped edge on that die and the little impressions that it gives. And that one is actually um, this die right here. There's a stitching to it, and also it die cuts out the scallop part of that. So we're gonna put that on first. So let's get some seal. And there's no, uh, there's no mat on here. We're gonna use these pieces of cardstock. I'm just gonna make sure I get this lined up. It's important to get it lined up pretty straight because all your other pieces are gonna follow after that. So that piece of designer, uh, I'm sorry, that piece of cardstock that I just used was Misty Moonlight. And then I used that die. And then I'm gonna overlap it just a little bit because I want some of that stitching to show and a little bit of that cardstock. Misty Moonlight is one of my favorite colors. It's like a toned down Knight of Navy, love it. And then this little piece right here, these are, um, these are all like five and a half inch strips of designer series paper, but the, the widths are all varying because I wanted it to taper down a little bit. And on this designer series paper, I guess depending on your cut will depend on the design that you get. Cause you could also get them where they're the little loops or, you know, going vertical, but I decided to do mine this way. So once we get all these pieces down, okay, now on your edges, if you have any that kind of hang out over the edge, you know, at this point, and you'll be able to see once you open your card, if you see anything there, you can just trim those with your paper snips, but I'm going to leave those there for now. Okay, and then I'm also going to be using, uh, we have some square vellum doilies, and I just took a doily, we get them, they come square, and I just took one and I cut one in half. And we're gonna be using that on here. And then I also took one of the, um, one of the dies from the, the contour, I think it's that one right there, yeah. And made me a little box where I could do a sentiment and because we're going to be using blends we're going to be using our memento ink okay so let me find the right we're going to do our stamping first now check out this little scallop it's not just scalloped but there's a stitch edge around there as well okay so let's stamp this piece right here this is just one of the images and then so happy, so very happy for you. So you wanna always do your stamping first, just in case you mess up. Try to line this up. Go, give it just a little pressure. Okay, so we have that piece done. And then I have, I went ahead and stamped that one, but I also need to stamp, where did it go? This one, this flower. Okay. So we're gonna stamp that in Memento ink. And then I think that is all, yes, that's all I need with Memento ink. But we're going to stamp the other pieces in Pool Party. Now these particular images, this one right here, and this one right here, they both have coordinating images and this one goes with this flower right here. So you are welcome to use the blends if you wanted to color the flowers, but this particular image lines up with this one. And this is the great thing about having a photopolymer stamp set is because you can see exactly where you're going to be stamping. And I just did all four of those at the same time. And we're gonna be doing the same thing with this one. This one has a coordinating stamp as well. And even though I figure it out every single time, I always end up having to turn this just 
enough to where um, I can see where things line up. It doesn't line up like perfectly, but it gets it pretty close. So let's just go with that one. I had my die marked and then the Sharpie went off of it and I was like, well, now I have to figure that out every single time I need to do that. But I am gonna take our dark Granny Apple Green blend and I'm gonna color these little pieces right here. These little greenery pieces. Just to give it a little pop of some color. Let's see. Is that the only one? Yeah, that's the only one on there, but on here, I want to do this piece. So we're going to color with our blend. If you use the lighter one, I guess if you're concerned about it being too dark, you can always use the lighter one and just keep coloring it until it's dark enough for you. Okay. And that is all with Pool Party. I am gonna use the light one though in order to color the center. Just give a little pop of color in the center. Okay, so let me put that aside and then let me show you how we're gonna die cut these. I'm going to be using the mini, the mini embossing and die cut machine just because it's so stinking cute. And it's more portable than me bringing the big one over here. And I already have my little sandwich ready. Okay, so let's do this one first. So I hope you guys can see that. There's enough light there. Let me trim this little edge off. That way it can go through. These smaller ones are perfect for the mini embossing folders but it's also great when you have little small die cuts that you need to to do and you don't want to get your big machine out so but there's no magnetic plate to this so um if you're worried about your things moving i had feel free to use washi tape in order to hold things down so this is where you know Washi tape is great. We don't have washi tape in our catalog, but if you've been with Stampin' Up! a while, we used to have washi tape, but that helps hold things down. That way you can put your top plate on and then run it through. And then once it comes out on the other side, you have your die cut oops, ready to go and then let's do the other one we've got this other small one too that I need to cut let's get this one on here get all these loose pieces off Okay, and this is where, let's see, I, I've always tried to use this little piece right here as a guide, um, and it may take me a moment because like I said, I still have to like move these around until I figure out how these line up. It'll be real obvious when it lines up but not obvious enough, quick enough. Let's see. Like I said, I had a piece of this marked. There we go. I had a piece of this marked with my Sharpie and um, it rubbed off and it was this piece right here. That way I could line that up with that image. So I might have to just um, like scratch it a little bit maybe on the surface in order to get it so that I don't have to move it around every single time. Okay, so let's go ahead and, of course, that moved. It moved. It moved because I'm live and not using washi tape. So let's use some washi tape. Let's get that down there. That way it doesn't move. And die cut that. 
I love this little machine. This little machine is, um, it's $60. And I just ripped that flower. But it's very, very portable. Very portable. Okay. I did rip that flower a little bit, so... I think what I'll do is uh, when I go to give these cards away, I'll just give away the one that I already um, made since that one's not ripped, which is this one over here. Okay, so now let's assemble this. What we're going to do is we're going to put some dimensionals on to pop up these flowers. So we've got one there. And I'm not looking at the comments, but thank you for joining me if you joined after I got started. I'm going to use some um, mini dimensionals on these other smaller pieces. I'm going to put one right here. And I'm going to use the white ones. That way, um, if you look at it from the side, you can't tell that they're popped up on dimensionals unless you're really, really looking. Okay, so let's get... This one is going to be directly down. And I'm going to make sure I put some good adhesive on this one side over here, only because I'm not going to put anything on my piece of doily. I want this doily to sit right here. And then I want this to go right here. Because the extra adhesive on this side and down here is going to help hold that doily down. Okay, so then we just remove our little adhesive backings off this flower. And we're going to put this one down first. Kind of right there. That just helps pop it off the page. And then this other single one, we're going to put that one down here. And then... I'm going to go ahead and put Winka Stella on, and Winka Stella is actually glitter in a brush. And I'm going to put, it's really, really fine glitter, and it is not messy. I say it's not messy, but for those of you that have been watching a while, a couple of months ago, I had one that just kind of came out a lot. <laughs> So I guess it could happen, but I'm going to see if I can bring this up because all this gives is an extra little bitty, um, a little bitty extra shine to the project. Kind of pizzazzes up the flowers a little bit. Now this ribbon right here, if you're like, what is that ribbon? This is one of the new in color ribbons called Soft Succulent. And let me show you, because I have these little, um, these little bookmarks of some of the new in colors. Well, actually, it's all of the new in colors, but these are um, this particular ribbon, which is called Open Weave Ribbon, comes in all five of the new in colors, which let me introduce you to our new 21, 2021 to 2023 in colors. Fresh Freesia. There's also uh, the new little gems on top of there. Polished Pink, Evening Evergreen. We're using Soft Succulent and Pale Papaya. Those are our five new in colors. And we're going to be using this one in order to make a bow. So we're going to make a bow. And I have made several bows with this ribbon. And oh my goodness, look at that. Making bows is a breeze with this. Love it. It pulls easy. It ties easy. So if you struggle with making bows and you want to try it, give it a try, start out with some of this open weave ribbon. This is not available until May the 4th in the new catalog. And then I'm also going to use some basic pearls. And we're going to put a pearl, let's put a big one. Let's put a big one. I guess it would help if I took that part off. Let's put a big one in the center of our, of our ribbon. And just press down. It has a little bitty glue dot on there. 
So you want to give it a little pressure to make sure that it sticks to that piece of ribbon. Okay, and there is, there's card number one. This is the one that I made, and then that's the one that I just demonstrated. And let me see if I can bring it up. Do you see that shine on those flowers? That's the Winka Stella. So if you see the shine on these flowers in that light, that's Winka Stella. So cute, card number one. Using the new host designer series paper. Okay, so let me show you card number two. There's card number two. Cute, I'm gonna show you a little bitty um, technique on this one. So we have our basic white base. Let's get that folded. So it's using our bone folder. This just helps burnish our edges so that we get a good crisp crease on our card bases. And then we're using pool party. And then I have all my other pieces already um, cut and die cut. But the pool party piece here is the part that I want to show you what I did. Because on the card, I want to show you, I'm going to bring this up a little closer. Do y'all see the background of this pool party? It's got kind of like a design to it. So what I did on this one is I am using... I'm using our uh, doilies, and I'm also using Misty Moonlight, and I'm going to make my own background with this, okay? And how I did this is, this one you can tell it has some color to it because I used that one on the other one, but I'm just going to put my doily down on the edge like that, and I am going to use washi tape. We're not going to cover the whole piece. We're just going to do right around the edges, and we're also going to be using one of our blending sponges, and so I'm just going to put this in the misty moonlight, and I want it to show around the edge. Um, I said we're not doing the whole card because that piece in the middle, oops, that piece in the middle is going to be covering up and nobody's going to see it. So all you want to do is right around the edge and the darker you do it, the more color that shows up on your card. And let me just pull this back so that you can see um, what I'm referring to. See? And then after you do that little piece, um, just move it to the other side and you're gonna repeat the same process all the way around. Um, you're basically using your doily as a stencil. That's all you're doing, which is thinking outside of the box because on the other card, I used the doily as it's designed, but on this one, I was like, no, let's do something different. I think I got that on there, there we go. And all I'm doing is giving a, a little bit of pressure so that that piece of the, the blending sponge gets past the doily design and transfers that ink to the paper. Okay, so we're just kind of creating our own background. And like I said, the darker that you do it, the more ink that transfers to that background. And we just want to do around the edge. I thought that this misty moonlight and this pool party, that misty moonlight would look really, really good on that pool party there. Okay, so let's peel that off. And then what you have left is just this design all the way around that has the doily. It just takes the shape of the doily, okay? That's what we're going to use. I'm um, actually done with this. We're going to put this piece on our basic white card base. So just get some adhesive on the back. And this is going to be um, a landscape card. So we're going to turn our card landscape and attach this piece of pool party that has this doily design to it. 
And then I also used um, Misty Moonlight using the next size up from this die cut that I used. I just used the next size up in Misty Moonlight. And then this is another piece of designer series paper from that set. I liked the white polka dots with the pool party. So let's get some adhesive on the back of this. And we're going to mat this piece in the center of this piece of Misty Moonlight die cut. Okay, but I also did the same size I used on this card. I went ahead and die cut one out using our cardstock vellum. Okay, now with cardstock vellum, we want to um, not use our regular adhesive because it will show through. So what I did was, um, I'm gonna put glue, oops, that popped out. I'm gonna put glue dots in all four corners. Okay, so let's put a glue dot right there. I'm just putting it where that stitched edge is so that it's not so noticeable on the other side. And then I need one more down here. Okay, and then we're gonna mat that one directly over this piece of cards. I'm sorry, designer series paper. That way you can still see some of the vellum. It's gonna show that designer series paper through it. Okay, and then we're gonna put this mat. This whole mat is gonna go directly on our card. And you'll see, see how it kind of covers up what didn't get put in the middle. So we're just gonna put this one at an angle. Okay. And then I already uh, stamped and die cut the flowers, but what I didn't do is the middle. And I took our Misty Moonlight Blend, I think this one's the dark one, no this one's the light one, and just color the middle. Just to give it a little pop of color. Same thing with Wink Estella, went ahead and put some Wink Estella on here. You could definitely put this on after you assemble your card. but. We're going to do another ribbon, so I don't think it would hurt the ribbon if you got a little Wink of Stella on it, but we're just going to give this a little pop of some glitter. Okay, and then we're going to pop these up with some dimensionals. Where'd they go? They're up here. I'm going to put a big one in the center of both of these. Let's put these on. Let's put one right here. Peel that backing off. Put one right here. Uh, we need to stamp our You Are Amazing sentiment. And we're going to stamp that one in Memento Ink. You could definitely stamp it in Misty Moonlight. That would look good in Misty Moonlight. And I'm gonna have to get down a little bit close to this because this die cut is like right on. Let me stamp it down a little bit. And I'm not gonna breathe while I'm doing this because I have to get it right the first time. Here we go. Yay! Let me bring that up a little bit. You'll see. It's not a very, there's not a whole lot of um, space for me to work with to get that straight on there. So I had to bring it down a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna pop this one up with dimensionals. So let me put a dimensional on the back. Put two of them on there. You could definitely use small ones too. And let's do, let's do it sideways. And then we're going to make another bow, but we're going to make the tails be a little longer than like the other one that I made. Look at how easy it pulls, you guys. Oh my goodness. Love it. All new colors. Oh, I'm so ready for to be able to order from the new catalog. Okay, and I'm going to pull these tails straight down so that when I go to trim the edges 
Oh, maybe I should have done it that way. Sorry. I pulled it the wrong way. I want my tails to go this way. No rhyme or reason. I just like, depending on the card design, depends on how, how I want to cut those tails. Okay, so we're going to get a glue dot on the back of this ribbon. And then we're going to stick that between both of those between both of those. Okay, and then I also have my basic pearl jewels. I'm definitely gonna put one um, in the center of the bow. Give it a little pressure. And then some of these smaller ones, I'm just gonna randomly put on the card. Let's put one, I had saved enough room on the other card so let's just put one oops let's put one right there just on that corner that way you've got some extra little some extra little bling to your card there so let me move all this off to the side and bring back the cards. Um, this is the one that I made and then this is the one that we just demonstrated so there is card number two and then there is card number one so I will put the supply list in the link but the supply list is not going to include any of the new products that I demonstrated today because those aren't available until May the 4th so but I can post everything else so I hope you guys enjoyed the cards today and if you are interested in hosting a little social gathering, whether you want to do it in person, um, I do live in Northeast San Antonio, so if you live anywhere near me, we can definitely do in person. Otherwise, uh, we can still accomplish your social gathering um, on, on Zoom and get kits out to everybody. Uh, with the kits, they, you know, we, we can't do any stamping. But definitely, these are cards that um, could still be used during, you know, your social get-together and then substituted with any stamps that they might already have and they can just use their own, um, their own greetings, you know, should they choose to do that. And um, so, yeah, so if you're interested in getting together and making, you know, a couple of cards like this one and maybe even a third one, I can design a third one. Um, I would love to be able to, to host that for you and get you some free items and some discounted items as well. So uh, thank you ladies for joining me on this sunny Sunday afternoon from San Antonio, Texas. Enjoy the rest of your evenings. And if you'd like to join me Wednesday night at 7 p.m., we are starting a new scrapbook page layout. So I can, I can see you then. But uh, have a great rest of your day, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.